How to clean up TMP folder safely on Linux. I use RAM for my TMPFS slash TMP, 2GB, to be exact. Normally, this is enough but sometimes, processes create files in there and fail to clean up after themselves. This can happen if they crash. I need to delete these orphan TMP files or else future process will run out of space on slash TMP. How can I safely garbage collect slash TMP? Some people do it by checking last modification timestamp, but this approach is unsafe because there can be long running processes that still need those files. A safer approach is to combine the last modification timestamp condition with the condition that no process has a file handle for the file. Is there a program slash script slash etc that embodies this approach or some other approach that is also safe? Incidentally, does Linux slash Unix allow a mode of file opening with creation wherein the created file is deleted when the creating process terminates, even if it's from a crash? You might want to try something like that. Find slash TMP, and time plus 7, and not, exec fuser, SD, semicolon, and exec echo a semicolon. Find is used to find files that match certain criteria. And time plus 7 only selects files that are older than 7 days. You may use any other value. Exec fuser, SV semicolon, calls fuser in silent mode for every file that matches the oldness criteria. Fuser returns 0 equals true for every file that's been accessed right now and 1 equals false for the unaccessed ones. As we are only interested in the unaccessed ones, we put a not in front of this exec exec echo a semicolon just prints all file names matching the criteria you might want use exec rmv semicolon instead here but as this may delete some still in use files i think it's safer to do a simple echo first edit you might want to add something like name foo asterisk dot bar or uid 123 to limit the effects of the cleanup to specific file patterns or user ids to avoid accidental effects to the last point Consider that there might be files that are only written once, e.g. at system boot, but read frequently, e.g. any accession cookie. Therefore I recommend adding some name checks to only affect files created by your faulty programs. Edit 2. To your last question. A file won't get deleted from disk until no process has an open handle to it, at least for native Linux file systems. The problem is that the directory entry is removed immediately which means that from the time you remove the file no new processes can open the file anymore, as there's no file name attached to it. For details see. This URL, edit 3, but what if I wanted to automate the whole process? As I said, there might be files that are written once and then read every once in a while, e.g. accession cookies, PID files, etc. Those won't be excluded by this little removal script, which is the reason why you might want to do a test run with echo first before actually deleting files. One way to implement a safe solution is to use a time. A time stores the time each file was last accessed. But that file system option often is disabled because it has quite some performance impact, according to this blog somewhere in the 20 to 30 percent region. There's rela time, but that one only writes the access time if time is changed, so this one won't help us. If you want to use a time, I'd recommend to have slash TMP on a separate partition, ideally a RAM disk, so that the performance impact on the whole system isn't too big. Once a time is enabled, all you have to do is to replace the time parameter in the above command line with the time. You might be able to remove the not exec fuser se semicolon but i'd keep it there just to be sure in case applications keep files open for a long period of time but keep in mind to test the command using echo before you end up removing stuff your system still needs regarding the last part of your question while i don't think that an delete this if i die open slash creation mode exists a process can safely delete a file directly after creating it as long as it keeps a handle to said file open the kernel will then keep the file on disk and as soon as the last process who had opened the file exits, be it by crash or normally, the space occupied by the file will be freed. For a general way around the problem that some processes sometimes don't clean up slash TMP, I would suggest having a look at mount namespaces, described, for example here or here. If the process in question is a system daemon, systemd and its native feature to allow private slash TMP file systems might be of interest. For a go try bleach bit. This URL. Cleans and scrubs. Preview mode. Obtain a list of files older than so and so, exclude files that are open by anything from that list. LSOF, N plus D, TMP, look for open files in TMP. Orc, NR, 1, print $9, print only the ninth column of LSOF output, excluding the headers. TR backslash backslash N backslash. 
Replace new line by bar, or in egrep. Egrep, v, fu mu bar, print lines not containing fu or mu or bar. Cross put gel, twist so not to let it quiver.